Peace, family. This is Lions Day with another news and commentary. This article is from the Atlanta Black Star. Black customers beaten with broom spray with Ace Tone in brutal brawl inside a Brooklyn Nelson line. Two women have been charged in a brawl that broke out at East Flatbush, Brooklyn, nail salon Friday after a dissatisfied customer refused to pay for her services. Witness Mercy Maduka filmed the melee on her cell phone and shared a video on Facebook where it garnished, when it garnered hundreds of thousands of views. Apparently, longtime customer Christina Th- Thomas was unhappy with her eyebrow wax she received at the new Red Apple nail salon and refused to pay. That's when an argument ensued between she and shop owner Huey Zing. The two women eventually comes to blows. So I'm I I'm at the nail salon and they effed up a lady's eyebrow and she refused to pay. Then a fight broke out. Maduka wrote in her Facebook post, share this cause the cops decided to arrest the black people but not the Chinese people who gang up on them, hitting them like animals. Zing was arrested and charged with assault, menacing, and criminal possession of a weapon, according to court documents obtained by News 12. Meanwhile, Thomas, who Zing repeatedly attacked with a broomstick, also faces misdemeanor assault charges. Hundreds of locals gathered to protest the salon on Monday, demanding it shutting down for good. Folks also called the charges against Thomas to be dropped. I am expecting justice, but most of all, I'm expecting black people to learn that when these business don't respect you, you don't spend your money with them, said author and TV personality Tiana Smalls, who helped organize the protests. Shut them down, and they need to be arrested for gang assault, she added. If that was a black salon and that happened, we were all, we were all, we, we all would have been locked up. Witnesses say Thomas, 21, visited the salon with her grandmother last week and received a manicure, pedicure, and eyebrow wax. Thomas wasn't pleased with the wax job, however, so manager Michael Lynn waived the $5 fee station, according to ABC News reported. Lynn asked the young woman to pay for the remainder of her services, but Thomas insisted she already paid. That's when Lynn dialed police saying Thomas refused to pay for any of her or her grandmother's services that day. Workers tried to keep the customers inside the store as they waited for office to arrive, and that's when the fight broke out. One of the workers allegedly threw an ace tone in the women's eye and beat them with sticks, according to an Instagram post by a woman identified as Thomas's mother. My mother, my mother, daughter, and her friend were attacked Friday night by a gang of Asian nail technicians, she wrote. Why? Because my daughter refused to pay them for a botched $5 eyebrow eyebrow wax so so here's the situation right so the pol- so the NYPD arrest the two black customers for basically getting involved in a fight where they haven't even started in the first place but the Asians did the Asian woman who worked there uses broom and a stick but they unfortunately they, they, uh, they arrested them for assault so here's this video and I'm going to give you finishing the rest of my commentary Okay, um, let's see here. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm, so, I'm going to go ahead and, and play this video, this news clip of the situation. So, um, here it is. Tensions were boiling over in East Flatbush, where the community expressed a lot of outrage over a nail salon brawl between employees and customers. It was caught on camera, and the video has the borough... Buzzing. News 12 Brooklyn's Tony Chow is there to fill us in. This all started with a couple of unhappy customers, which then led to a financial dispute. Before long, things got out of hand, then turned violent. <laughs> Christina Thomas and her grandmother felt anything but relaxed at Red Apple Nails. They say Thomas was unhappy with how her eyebrows were done, so they refused to pay for it. But the salon claims the family refused to pay for any of the services, including their pedicures. The dispute escalating into a full-blown brawl. When all was said and done, both Thomas and salon worker Hui Yu Zhang were charged with assault. Shut them down! On Monday, the community demanded Thomas' charges be dropped and the other salon workers involved in the melee be arrested. After overwhelming pressure, the salon 
on close for the day, but protesters weren't done yet. Later in the evening, returning and marching to another nail salon by an almost identical name that they claim is owned by the same people. Their goal? To put a nail in this business's coffin. I wish every last one of them would get arrested. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And don't open another store in our community. Yes. And don't yes. have to act properly. Right. And the district attorney's office telling us they're examining some new videos in the incident and will evaluate the charges accordingly. In East Flatbush, Tony Chow, News 12, Brooklyn. And okay, there you go, people. Now, you know, a lot of you know what? I mean, if a person's unhappy with their nails or their eyebrow wax and stuff like that, they have that um the customers have a right to not pay them, but also they could at least give them okay, give them a free wax or give them a, a free um a manicure or pedicure for their trouble. Unfortunately, as you saw in this video, it didn't go down like that. And so you see the you see the, a, the Asian workers did not like what the sister was saying that they they refused to pay because they didn't they didn't do their they didn't do their nails and their eyebrow eyebrow waxes right. So you see the the alleged brawl happen, and all of a sudden all hell broke loose. And the, and yet the police arrested the sisters first until the if it wasn't for that surveillance video caught them caught these they caught the Asian workers using their brooms to attack them they would they would let them go but they also was charged with assault so now you see all these so all the people are fed up with that they protested which is good I'm glad they're doing that they've come together I see Mason who's out there as well everybody was out there in in, in support the grandmother to shut that nail shop down and see, we got to send them a message that we would not tolerate anybody, I don't care if you're Asian, Indian, who owns a business, they're going to disrespect a, 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 a black customer. And yet, obviously, you're not going to even, basically, you're not going to even give them something after they've been unhappy with, 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 I mean, with how they do their nails, their, um, their eyebrows done and everything. So I'm glad people showed up. I'm glad people are protesting outside. And I heard there's still protesting today until the shop has been shut down for good. So I'm going to say like this, that I'm, I'm proud of the people. They did what they had to do. And they, if they want to shut the sh shop down, then, then they should do it. To send a message and say, well, you're not going to tolerate, y'all not going to tolerate um, having your business in the neighborhood and feeling disrespected because they they was unhappy at how they treated them. Plain and simple. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my reaction channel. And subscribe to my, my Black Ch Junction channel for more news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.